Uh, I was about to hit F5, but I don't think that works in this game, does it? <laughs> I'm so used to hitting F5 to, to quick save. Alright, so now we're at Sunday. Oh, hey, it is Sunday. It's Sunday today. Um, Sunday, October 1st, 2023. How do I save? Actually, do you think F5 will save? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's read The Evening Whispers. Um, for Sunday, October 1st. Vegan food on the rise. Gnome diet popular amongst young adults. Box office movie High Weapon hits astonishing 2 billion worldwide. What Generation Z really wants? An independent survey. Alright, let me save. Alright, so that's saved, right? Um, Alright, who we got coming in? Haley, Haley! Miss Rachel? Oops. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm just really excited. I've done it, Haley. Congratulations! Done what? The music I'm making with AJ. I told you about it last last time, remember? <laughs> oh yeah, you did. I brought it with me. Check it out, will you? Really? Okay. Wait, hang on. I wonder if it's about to play this. Before it does, let's check out the social media. Alright. Riona says today's delivery cut off time. 1300. No night shift. Um, Myrtle... We had a break in the office and just played board games for hours. It was fun. Look what Myrtle did, sneakily taking my super serious gaming face while playing Super Brawl Pals, Super Brawl Pals 2. Game on. <laughs> like that. Lucas, super busy. See you tomorrow. Just saying. Hashtag just saying hi. Oh, so I can't actually open them. They do, they do look like actual tweets. Alright. Oh, we do get to hear it! Uh, are you sure we can play it? What about NDAs and stuff? Come on, you silly. We're the only ones here anyway. It'll be fine. I mean, the direction has already changed a lot, so... Oh? Never mind that. Let's just play it quick. What do you think? What's it called? Oh look! Sweetheart Latte! <laughs> I like it. Is this actually on the soundtrack? I'm gonna look real quick. Is Sweetheart Latte on here? It is! <laughs> it's on the soundtrack. I bought the first soundtrack. I haven't bought the second one. It's, it's pretty groovy. Alright. Wait, wh Oh, sh hold on, hold on. What is- Okay, I'm, I'm seeing it. Why is it keep- What? I, I want to make the notification go away. Oh, so I can select what music I want to play. That's kind of cool. Alright, notification is gone. That's what was bothering me. I was inspired by the drink you gave me. Sweetheart Latte, wasn't it? That's right! You composed the melodies? With, um, with a Remy, yeah. So, like, I know with a name like Sweetheart Latte, you'd expect something a little more fun sounding, right? But hearing how you made the drink reminded me of something. Like a new love's beginning, or thinking about your crush. The sourness of anxiety and the sweetness of a promise. There are a lot of steps to keep the delicate balance going, until you get to the point where you decide to confess. I think I see where you're going with this. Yeah, just like the drink, right? It needs the perfect balance of ingredients and temperature to mix properly, doesn't it? Or it would curdle, yeah. 
That's a really interesting take on the name. There's just one thing I'm wondering about. What is it? If this is supposed to be your new single, wouldn't everyone expect to hear your voice? I know, but I'm planning something. You'll see. How are you, by the way, Haley? Just fine. Business as usual. Wait, I almost forgot. Did Dad come here last night? Hendry? Yes, he did. He was meeting up with Mr. Gala, actually. Okay, that's good to know. Why do you ask? He didn't reply to my text last night. So I wondered what he was doing. Ah, I see. Do you two not see each other often? What do you mean? I just saw him this morning. We still live under the same roof, after all. Oh, what a surprise. I thought you'd been raring to move out by the time you turned 21. Well... You're not wrong in thinking that. But Dad's getting older, you know? He's becoming forgetful too, so I'm a little bit worried. Understandable. Besides, we don't really have anyone else, you know? None of our extended family even lives in, this, in the States. So as much as he's been a nag my whole life, I feel like I should watch over him for now. Right. Hello, welcome. Hey, we got... Riona, I think? I think I'm getting the names. Oh, right. <laughs> I was looking up, trying to remember it before I actually read the dialogue. Good evening to you, Miss Riona. Hey, Riona. Fancy meeting you here. Uh... Hello. How are you? Sorry, just a second. All right. Oh. Uh-oh. Huh? Is she all right? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh well. I'll just get a drink first. Right, what would you like? I'll have a, I'll have a cup of milk, please. Do I just do all milk? What if I just did... What if I just did that? She didn't say a cup of warm milk. Oh, well, we gotta fill it up, right? <laughs> milk. <laughs> and that's what she wanted. That's what she wanted. Here you go. A cup of warm milk. Thank you. Hmm. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just remembered something. But it's nothing special, so don't worry about it. What? <laughs> I thought I got the drink wrong at first. Maybe she only wanted two milks. Miss, are you alright? This music doesn't fit the atmosphere anymore. <laughs> oh, we got a new... New post? Oh, uh, we just got Rachel, um... Rachel's... I love my family, cats, milk, and you. <laughs> Is this on shuffle? Wait, how do I... How do I know if it's going to... <clears throat> all songs? I guess it's on shuffle. I don't know. No... I think I'm sad. What's wrong? That's right, Riona. What's wrong? Oh no. I've been doing a lot of thinking. About what? About my situation. Have you ever felt like something you've been doing your whole life might be a mistake? What makes you think that, miss? Hey, Lou. Thank you for the, um, giant framped. <laughs> uh, welcome in. <clears throat> my apologies. I, I did not mean to be so dramatic. 
Would you two mind listening to my scattered thoughts? Of course. Let it all out. Miss Rachel is right. Feel free. Alright, I've had enough of this song. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Let's get something more chill. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, Miss Rachel. But it was just getting a bit much. Right. After listening to the experiences you and Mr. Lucas had, along with conversations with Haley and the regulars of this coffee shop, I have gradually realized over the past week that that I'm severely lacking in awareness about many things. Huh? And what makes it more troubling is... It is likely that my ignorance was on... purpose? Ignorance? On purpose? What do you mean? <clears throat> Miss Rachel, the position you hold today is a result of your efforts and tenacity. You honed your talent, but you did not shirk from taking risks in order to succeed. Your knowledge of the industry has enabled you to successfully navigate it, and I greatly respect your ability to do so. Mr. Lucas also. Although I do not fully understand his content, he is successful enough that people earn a living through his work. I am aware that that must require a great deal of courage and flexibility. To put it simply, I feel ashamed of myself, because I may have become too comfortable with the status quo, to the point that I no longer strive to improve my situation. Are you really, though? I mean, you've been trying your best, right? I've been trying, yes. But have I been trying my best? That's debatable. And about my intentional ignorance, I'm simply afraid. Afraid? I understand I have only a small chance of being selected for a role in a play. I really do. I understand it's due to my lack of network and industries, and network of the industry's expectations, along with my lack of higher education, and for the simple fact of what am what I am. I'm truly fine with all that. I really am, because because of all because all of it is a pain I am already familiar with. And perhaps somewhere in the deepest depths of my heart, I'm having to face unfamiliar rejections again. Having to get used to a new pain all over again. Just might be... <laughs> might be difficult. Miss... I... I apologize for all this ruckus. I didn't mean to. Miss Riona, would you please allow me to make you a drink? It's on the house. Um, but... Haley insists, right? Right. In that case, I'd like something made with blue pea, but no milk or ginger, please. Ooh, god. Oh, I might have to- I might have a scum save this day. Let me ruin- let me ruin her day by screwing up a drink. <laughs> she said- she said blue pea. Um, she said no milk or ginger. We could try the galaxy. Cause all the ones- <gasps> we could do a new one though. No- no milk or ginger. No milk or ginger. So we could do honey and cinnamon, maybe. Would that be weird? Wait, have I made that? Let me leave the brew pad up. <laughs> I haven't actually done that. We should make something new. Because that is something I would like to do. I'd like to do the... I think there's an, like an endless day option that you can play. And you can just basically just make drinks. Like, uh, for the, like, all of it. <laughs> all right. Hey, Stardance! Hello there! <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> let's do... Let's do cinnamon. I don't know... I don't know how that would be. 
That's really sweet. I want to make something new. She just said no milk or ginger. Um, have I? I've done mint and lemon. Maybe I could do mint and mint and honey would be weird, wouldn't it? But I kind of want to do. We want something comforting, so I'm thinking that's really sweet too. That's like basically the same. Is it? I can't remember. Is blue? I think it's hibiscus that's more tart, isn't it? I don't know how. I don't remember how they described the blue pea. We are experimenting because I see that we have three undiscovered drinks down here, so I kind of wanted to make something new. And also, like, Riona's having a really bad day. Um, she's really sad, so. I'm trying to think of something. I feel like cinnamon honey. That's what would comfort me. I think we're gonna go for it. Let's. Uh, I mean, what? I get four tries, right? She just said no milk or ginger. I don't like that. Wait, I want something fancy. I want a fancy name. <laughs> what did I do? I did cinnamon first. Let's try honey and then cinnamon. Blue pea is grassy, similar to green tea. Oh, so it just gave me the same thing. So, what do, you, what do you think I should mix with it? What do you think would be... ...comforting, I guess? So no milk, no ginger. So I have mint, lemon, and I've made that one before. I've done mint and lemon. <gasps> Does it? I wonder if they- I wonder if that, like... Because we did mint and lemon. What if we did lemon and mint? Would it just make that again? What if I did lemon and honey? I haven't done that. Lemon and honey might be good. Actually. That's really bitter, huh? What if I did... Honey, then lemon? That's a balance of sweet and bitter. That might be good. We want a good balance, I think. Oh, and it's good for a sore throat. But I, yeah, I don't think I... I have not made that, so let's get... I think we'll just serve this, because I don't want to trash another drink, honestly. I wanted to make a named drink, though! Wait, did she say no lemon, or was it no mint? No, it was no ginger. It was no ginger. She said no ginger and no milk. Alright, God. Let's hope this is right. Here, I hope you'll enjoy it. Oh, God. Thank you. Oh. Uh. What's on your mind? Right now, I'm rethinking my true motivation for all- for doing all- all of this. The driving force behind everything I've done up to this point. Well, what was it? Hmm? Your driving force before you started questioning it. I wish to break free from the shackles of prejudice, whether it's society's or my own. Not only for myself, but also for my kind. I see. So it doesn't have to be opera, right? Pardon? Reaching that goal can be done in a lot of ways. Like politics. Huh? You're not wrong, but... <laughs> that was just an example, jeez. But I admit, being an entertainer is probably the fastest way to win people over. But that's not what you want to do, is it? My heart trembles for the opera. That is why I wish to pursue it, as long as I'm able. However... I believe it is also time for me to consider expanding my horizons. Oh? I simply do not wish to be trapped in my own fear forever, although I do regret that my one-track-minded efforts may have been in vain. I don't think everything you've done so far is in vain, though. I always believe in sincere efforts, 
but never mind that. What are you going to do now? Uh, I'm not sure. I already rejected Mr. Lucas's offer. Lucas? He's an influencer who's been coming here recently. Why does that name ring a bell? Because he likes all of your posts <laughs> on Tomoda Chill. Oh, wait. You know him? Not closely, but I think we follow each other on Toma Chill. Oh, I, I pronounced it wrong again. Toma Chill, Toma Chill. If it's even the same Lucas, I mean. What was the offer for? I was offered a spot on his new show. While he's still unsure of the format, his aim is to elevate underrated talents. To showcase and interview them- oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> to showcase and interview them in order to bring their work to the forefront. I see. The sneeze went away. So what if you rejected his offer? Call him. Huh? Or text him. Tell him you changed your mind. What's the worst that could happen? People are allowed to change their minds. If he rejects you, well, that's his loss, isn't it? I'm not sure it'd be his loss necessarily. Shh, shh, shh. Just do it. Text him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Might turn the fan on a little bit. I need some air circulated in here. He, he responded. What did he say? He's happy I changed my mind. And he's going to text me later to talk more about it. It seems like he's in the middle of something. At least that's one thing settled. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Although I regret my one-track mindset, I cannot say it has been entirely detrimental to my life. As it is a habit formed during my time living in the commune. Commune? We banshees used to congregate together in order to protect ourselves from the outside world. Each of us tended to have a specific role in the commune, and we all would work together as one. Like gears in a machine. Interesting. I didn't know that. But you left the commune, correct? Yes. Was it difficult? No, because we're not a cult. Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. It's okay. The commune is simply a defense mechanism from the distant past. So the reason we do not see a lot of banshees around, is it because many still choose to remain in the commune? Right. The world still isn't kind to us. However, we are aware that eventually we must reopen ourselves to the outside world. It was for that reason I learned to drive. You seem to be fond of driving. I am. It's like having a mobile fortress, which is why I find driving, driving calming. Even in traffic? Well, <laughs> a mobile fortress, huh? Never thought of cars that way, but that's interesting. Perhaps it's better if I go now. Okay, I'll leave too. If you wish, I can drop you off. Really? I live pretty far from here. It's fine. Okay. See you later, Haley. Safe trip, miss. Thank you for your time. My pleasure. See you soon. I wonder if that was the end of the day or if we're getting any more uh, characters coming in. I suppose I'll wait another hour. Ooh, why are we waiting an hour? Sugar and spice. Spicy. I think... Have I made that before? That looks good. Alright, let me... Um, let me just turn a fan on real quick. Just give me a second. Do you have the the fishing command working? Forgot to put that in the Got too many hashtags. <laughs> Not hashtags, but too many things in this. Um 
fish. There we go. That way people will know. Right. At least it should be on the screen. Yeah, I think it is. Let me just test it real quick. Just to make sure it's working. Sometimes it breaks. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm probably going to do one more day and then I'm going to take a, a, a quick BRB after this one. Because I'll probably be needing to use the restroom soon. Okay. Monday, October 2nd. Um, the Evening Whispers. Gobbly Labs shut down. Researcher to finally stop experiments after 1,304 incidents. Incidents. Um, dang. <laughs> that is... That's a lot. Why did they wait that long? <laughs> to stop. Um, users of Tomoda Chills. It is Tomoda Chill. I could have sworn that Rachel called it Toma Chill. Users of T Tomoda Chills' new stories feature. It needs a longer duration. Oh, are we going to get to see the stories? The piece of halfling advice that seared into my memory. Uh-oh. Is there power out? Oh, I'm just going to save real quick. We don't want an incident. So, I drove him around while he was nursing his broken heart. <gasps> Wait, what's happening? What's going on? I don't... I really don't know why we're discussing my sad stories right now. Oh, it's hide, hide. Eyes on the happy couple. Wait, is this the... Is this the wedding? Oh, it wasn't sad so much as cute, though. Wait, what's hap What's going on? So I drove him around while he was nursing his broken heart. I really don't know what we're discussing. Eyes on the happy couple. Oh, so we're not going to actually get to see the wedding, huh? <laughs> well, it wasn't sad so much as cute, though. But it's true that you and Mr. Bailey's should be in the spotlight, Miss Lua. Or just in the light. Sorry, I'm trying to get to the switch. Ow! <laughs> Whoops. My apologies, Mr. Gala. You're literally solid like a wall. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Ah, uh, here we go. <gasps> no, they are dressed up! You all found your way to a seat. I'm impressed. We've been here often enough that we know the place like the back of our hand. That's what it means to have regulars, Haley. So it does. Ooh, her dress is so pretty! So this looks like after the wedding, though. Maybe? I don't know. So it does. Now, shall we get the celebration started? Please, I'm so excited. That's adrenaline for you. Hang on to that feeling. Oh, I, I, I'm really hoping for a cutscene, even though I kind of doubt we will get one. You call it adrenaline. Adrenaline. I call it deep, passionate, irresistible fascination for her husband. Hey, hey, hey. Don't get too cocky, Mr. Miller. Oh, are you taking Lua's last name, Bailey's? <laughs> no, we're keeping our last names. But I'll be Mr. Miller if it pleases Mrs. Miller. Anything to make you happy. Aw, you always make me melt. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. He said, wiping off his tears. How many times must I tell you? It was the city hall flowers. They make my allergies flare up. Sure, let's go with that. This would be the perfect time for some drinks. Oh god, please let me make these right. <laughs> I wouldn't say no, no I wouldn't say no to something hot for sure. And to something sweet. To something decadent and chocolatey. But let's keep it fresh. There's enough sweetness here to give me a sugar rush. So, um, in summary, sweet and chocolatey, but with some freshness to it, please, Haley. Oh my god. I hardly make the chocolate 
drinks, I think. Sweet and chocolatey, but with some freshness to it. Hmm. I mean, we could experiment. We could experiment. What would be fresh? Oh, some mint. <gasps> mint chocolate would be really good. So maybe like sweet and chocolatey. What if I did like chocolate, honey, and mint? Because they want it sweet. That's very sweet. Yeah, I'm feeling mint. But I don't know if I should do, do two chocolate and mint. Let's just see what this turns out to be. But yeah, mint would be fresh. That's how I read that. <gasps> oh my god, we made a new drink! We have to serve it. <laughs> we have to serve it. After midnight? That is perfect. Yes, that's the one. This is inspired by a sweet evening treat. Hopefully the drink is to your liking. I love it. It's very unique and festive. Very comforting. Exactly what I had in mind. Oh my god, we nailed it. It's fine. <laughs> high praise from Hyde. Yeah, Hyde's the one that's really hard to please anyway. You know it. It tastes a bit British. <laughs> Have you ever been on that side of the pond, Haley? I wish! I did a bit of traveling in my day. Maybe we ran into each other in the past. Maybe we did. Passing each other like two ships in the night. <laughs> what? What, Borny? <laughs> what? What? You don't drink after midnight? <laughs> you don't drink- well, the drink after midnight. Not literally drinking after midnight. <laughs> I don't actually know what he means by it being British, though. I would- that would not have been what came to mind for me. Passing each other like two ships in the night, before meeting at the mooring. That's very lyrical. <laughs> I blame the mood on you two. All I know about the UK is that British- is that British werewolf guy I once met. He went absolutely wild during Fury. But even then, he would beg the wall's pardon after putting his fist through it. Sounds about right. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and I imagine you two became great friends. Nah, you know rude vampires are much more my type. Hey. Actually, no, I'm not offended. Rude vampire and proud of it. That would look great on a t-shirt. Awesome idea. I'll consider that for a Christmas gift. <laughs> right, I guess we should raise a toast. Does anyone want to make a speech? Someone? Haley, maybe? Uh, I don't think I'm the right person to give speeches. You definitely are. Yes, if you want to, we'd love to hear you. In that case... Thank you for choosing to come to this cafe, Miss Lua, Mr. Bailey's, and thank you for making us feel a true part of your lives. Hear, hear. You'll always be a part of our lives now, Haley. Absolutely. Right, before we go any further, I, I gotta check to Moda Chill. Uh, gonna send Van Helsing to this coffee, sh coffee shop in a minute, but... <laughs> So we have two more chocolate drinks to discover. How are we on other... We got lots of coffee. Two more teas. A lot of green tea. Mm, three more of those. Two hibiscus. Jeez, there's like four more milk drinks too. I guess I have to click it to make it go away. Um, let's check out Tomoda Chill. Down to ride. 
Oh, check out my friend's podcast. Oh my gosh, wait, I, I always have to try these um, links. I always have to give them, give them a go. They're probably going to take me to Twitter or something. Down to ride podcast. Oh, it just takes me to the developer's YouTube channel. <laughs> That's clever marketing there. Clever marketing. Um, okay. Here it is. Down to ride. Vlog one. Go watch and tell us how you like it. Do you like video video podcasts? Sorry, not sorry. I forgot to post the trailer. Here it is. Full version dropping at 8 p.m. Check this out. You boys start a new podcast <clears throat> for y'all. Want to know more? No delivery today. All right, so this is Lucas's podcast. All right, we're, we're caught up. Wait, why do I have... What else am I missing? Oh. Riona. I like her picture. Short and to the point. Good speech. Your turn, Hyde. Really? Uh, well, fine. Thank you, Lou and Baileys, for entertaining me and making me consider a counseling career, however briefly. You're a good bunch. That means a lot, Hyde. You've been a very good friend to us. Don't think we're forgetting about you, Gala. Speech time! Right. I don't know you as well as Haley, guys. And I haven't helped you nearly as much as Hyde did. But despite that, you've made me feel welcome. You've immediately made me feel a part of your family. Made this warmth that you show others. Always reflect as joy in the family you're starting today. Ah, Gala. Thanks, man. Really. To the happy couple. To the happy couple. To the happy couple. Are your allergies troubling you again, Mr. Hyde? Haley, my dear Haley. Never think that you're out of reach of my retribution. Ahem. I do apologize that we only serve soft drinks here. Some bubbles would have bef befitted the occasion. Ah, don't worry about it. As far as I'm concerned, it suits me just fine. Allergies, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not really drinking booze these days. Oh? Speaking of starting a family, just in case, you know. Oh? And I'm avoiding it in solidarity. <gasps> what? That's nice, you guys, rooting for you. Thanks, Gala. Just imagine. Little purple elves with horns running around everywhere. And thanks, I think, Hyde. I aim to please. <laughs> Personally, I'm fine with soft drinks as well. Never liked the stronger stuff. I'm actually, I'm with them. I, uh, I do prefer, uh, comforting drinks. He's not lying. I never saw him touch it. Is there any specific reason why not? I just don't like the taste. Oh, I'm so gala. I'm so gala. <laughs> In fact, there was a tweet I just, um, I think retweeted yesterday. And it was somebody talking about how, um, they wish there was places for people to hang out, like, late at night that aren't bars just to like more chill because you don't want to be you don't necessarily want to be around like dr um, drunk people and I was thinking a cat cafe that would be perfect you know um but yeah like something like that or like this like I wouldn't mind a late night I mean I don't think I could be out this late but like a cafe would be would be nice um, some people don't- caffeine doesn't, uh, keep them up anyway. And, like, people have to work late, too. Like, um, them. 
Never got used to it. I never particularly tried to. People assume I like to drink, especially since I'm a big burly dude, I guess. But nope. Assumptions like that are annoying to me. I like that you look at it just as a taste among others, Gala. Sometimes I want to taste wine and sometimes I just want tomato juice. Definitely. Booze just became this big social thing. But I for one wish there were there was a better range of soft drinks. I went to a very expensive restaurant a while ago. They had a soft drink pairing option. They imported some alcohol-free vermouth, homemade some fruit juice. It all tasted really nice and unique. But then they all but then they also had edible robots. And they made a miniature forest out of vegetables and dark chocolate. Wow, when did you go to a place like that? Ah, a while ago with my family. Back when we were still in touch. Bay. I'm okay, sweetie. Well, I make a mean cocktail. There's a hard version and a soft version. In the hard version, I use vodka. In the soft version, I don't use vodka. <laughs> Fair enough. What else goes into it? A little bit of basil, some lemon juice, a pinch of salt, tonic water. That sounds like something I would enjoy. Wait for it. And of course, a big dollop of fresh blood. Here it comes. O-type, preferably. Universal donors and all that. Yuck. I think this is a joke. Hope this is a joke. And this is why he never gets invited to parties. What do you mean? I'm invited to all the parties. Thank you so much for being with us, the three of you. Thank you for having us. It was fun to meet your friends. It was fun to meet your friends from work, Baileys. And your sister, Lua. She's got a very strong character. I respect that. She's impossible, you mean. But I love her to bits. Yeah, she took a while to warm up to me at first. Oh, just a year or three. <laughs> she probably wanted to make sure you were right for her baby sister. Yes, that was definitely the reason why. She always thinks of me as some sort of softy that needs to that she needs to protect. Well, I mean, compared to her, Gala is a softy. I'd say Gala is a softy compared to many people. Fair enough. But yes, I think she could take him. I think she could take him when he's under fury. If Haley ever moves out and I'm out to my out of my specialty, I can ask for your sister's number, I guess. <laughs> you would have to hurry. Or you'll have to step over, hmm, your primary school friend Bailey's. Marco? I thought I'd caught him staring at her. I bet they didn't leave it at staring. The two witnesses. Delightfully cliche, isn't it? You seem to be enjoying the gossip very much, Mr. Hyde. Of course I do. That's how I take my best pictures. Longing glances, touches filled with pent-up desire. Scorn dis dissim dissimulated in a smirk. Hopefully you've captured some pictures of our lovebirds, too. <laughs> ah, yes, I really can't wait to see them. Ooh, I hope we see them on the little social media app. Well, that's the downside of film. I know, I know. But it'll be worth it, so I'm happy to be patient. Good girl. In that case, I have a little reward for you. <gasps> oh! A perfect shot. Oh, I love it. I might have to buy the art book um, for this game. I just, I adore all the pixel art in it. That is a perfect shot. Oh, look at this, Bay. This is amazing. What a beautifully captured moment, Mr. Hyde. Yes, truly. Thank you again for this, Hyde. Don't mention it. I had an alright time doing it. You can keep this if you want. It's just a Polaroid, but... Ah, oh, no. It's absolutely lovely. It looks so friendly and warm. 
Like the wedding we always really wanted to have. An all right time. <laughs> yes, once we sifted through the su superfluous details. I love that you guys figured that out in the end. And I love this picture. Do you only have the one, Mr. Hyde? Why, Haley? You wanted to frame it and hang it on your wall? Actually, yes, yeah, something like that. Good thing I saw it coming. If our newlyweds don't object, I have almost the same... I have almost the exact same one here for you. No objections whatsoever. Yeah, I'd love that. It would mean a lot to have a little memory of this day hanging around here. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Yes, Haley, I'm not sure where we'd be without you. Ahem. So I take it you have decided to embrace photography, Mr. Hyde? It would seem so. Ah, uh, come on, tell them. Tell us what? Nothing's been confirmed yet. They're certainly not going back on it. And you aren't either, right? Of course not. Well then... Ah, just tell them the story. It's obvious you're dying to. Don't have to ask me twice. Hyde has already agreed to shoot another wedding. They're a really sweet couple who's been coming to visit their kid at the hospital. Little Rose has been sick for a while. Doctors think she's going to get better eventually, but no one knows exactly when. So her parents have decided to get married in her room with her around. That's a lovely idea. I bet little Rose is thrilled. She is. An entire party next to her bed. Can you imagine? Anyhow, they got to chatting with Hyde. And just like that, he promised to take their pictures. Pro bono. That's very good of you, Mr. Hyde. It's nothing. I could use the experience. So I can milk my modeling ex-colleagues for their wedding pictures. Sounds like good social redistribution to me. Right? So does that mean you're sticking around for Seattle? Uh, uh, sticking around Seattle for good, Hyde? I've got the house and I've got the job. And I've got my own pocket werewolf. So it sounds like I'll be staying here a little while. That's great to hear. How's the house coming along? Taking ages, but it'll look good when it's finished. I'm having it redone from scratch, so it's a process. But as a vampire, my needs are a little... particular? Fair enough. I think it's normal to be particular when it comes to your dream home, you know? What would a dream house look like for the two of you? Hmm, we're not too sure yet. But we're not repeating the same mistakes. Vampire underscore crabs just subscribed for four months. Before you go away, hope you come back soon. Hey vampire, it's good to see you. Um, yeah, I'm just going away for, just going away to visit some family um, this coming week. Um, but I will be back and I'll hopefully be like back to a somewhat normal schedule. I'm also hoping to stream later in the day too, so it might be easier for... It might actually work out for other people <laughs> um, instead of the usual morning streams. Um, but yeah, so. But thank you, thank you so much for the sub, and I hope you're having a, a great weekend. No endless Tomoda chill scrolling to look at other people's homes, and no overspending or feeling inadequate on my side. My love. Oops, I was clicking the wrong thing. It's all right. I'm glad we talked it. I'm glad we talked it all through. Lua made me realize that it's fine if I don't earn as much as she does, and if my family doesn't contribute anything. In fact, Lua's mom told me the same during the wedding. I didn't know you'd talked about it. Don't worry, it went really well. She said what mattered to her is that I make her daughter happy. Which is good, because that's what matters to me, too. And a happy Lua is a Lua who powers through her job. Yeah, I really can't consider slowing down my career. Well, maybe a little. 
Yeah, when the time comes, but the thing is, I don't mind slowing down my career. I've always been the one bringing up the kids' topic. It's not that I don't want them, but I was afraid of what it'd do to my work. That makes sense. Women are always expected to do more when it comes to child rearing. Well, not in our couple. We've decided that when we have kids, I'll be a stay-at-home dad. I'll still do some freelance work if and when I have time. Not so much for the money as to keep my brain working, but I'll be taking care of the little ones and of our place. You know, I keep thinking how happy I am that I met you and married you. Not many men would have wanted that. You'd be surprised. Times are changing and so on. Times are making more room for people to follow their wishes. I've known many men who'd rather, um, who, who'd have rather stayed home with their children than go to work every day and almost never see them. You two just complement each other well. I think so too, Mr. Miller. Mrs. W. Ah, oh, no, using my family name on you feels wrong. Huh. They would throw a fit if they heard you do that. They absolutely would. It's almost tempting. But none of that matters much anyway. As long as we're still Lua and Bailey's. As long as we're still Lua and Bailey's. Yeah, my mornings are my least available. I'm sure they are for, like, most people. Um, so, now that the kids are out of school for the summer, I think I can work... It'll be easier for me to do evening streams. Or at least late afternoon streams. Ah, uh, excuse me. It sounds like Hyde has found a new way forward. He has, yeah. I'm really happy about that. When I first met him, I thought he was a bit mysterious. And honestly, a bit of a jerk. But he's really quite fragile, isn't he? There's nothing more solid and more fragile than an immortal. Yeah, nothing screws with your head quite as much as having unlimited time. Even elves with their only longish lives have issues. I can imagine. Werewolves are somewhere between elves and humans. And we also struggle with that stuff. I guess the bottom line is, everyone gets bored and confused once in a while, right? And the longer you live, the more once in a whiles you get. That makes sense to me. I will say though, it, I'm mighty happy that he's sticking around. For all that he can be a difficult one. He also makes life a lot more interesting. And we just really get each other after all this time. You two know what I mean. Yes, we really do. At this point, even when we need to take a bit of time out, we can trust that we'll always find our way back to each other. That's right. You know, he's got a way of finding good people. Hide, I mean. He liked Haley from the start. Not that I've ever disagreed, but he just really got you right away. He has a very... He has been very kind. He has been very kind to me and perceptive about me as well. And I'm glad he befriended you two. This chat right now, it's really good. You're all right too, Gala. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing more of you. <laughs> right back at you. Ah, listen to that. It's pouring rain again. <laughs> I'd be really cold if I didn't have your jacket, Bay. But are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I always worry about you. And I guess that's kind of my job now. Only if I get to worry about you, too. You guys are cute. But you know what's even better than worrying about each other? Not worrying about each other. <laughs> Point taken. Rainy weddings are meant to be good luck anyway. I've always wondered where that came from. It sounds like lip service for the happy couple. To avoid a meltdown if it rains, which must happen often enough. Really? So you don't know? Don't know what? Ah, uh, maybe it's just a thing among elves. Have you heard it? Heard of it, Haley? 
Are you referring to the Goddess's Tears legend? That's the one. Never heard of that. It's actually a whole epic in medieval elven poetry. But I can give you the short version. Go on, I'm very curious. Um, that's sweet, my wife kept her last name. That is sweet. Yeah, I like it, um... I like it when people sh shirk, um, traditions. Cause, uh, it is just... It is really just tradition. Um, doing that. Go on, I'm very curious. Alright then. A long time ago, lived a powerful- This music is not fitting for the situation. <laughs> Let's just change it. A long time ago lived a powerful goddess. That goddess had many children, but of all her children, one she liked best. They were among the shyest and the quietest. When their siblings screamed for attention, they sat aside and played the clouds. When their siblings tormented each other, they silently looked at the stars. When their siblings ran away from the rain, they waited and watched the rain fall. The goddess thought, Even if all my children desert me, this one will always be by my side. They are kind and gentle. They will love me and take care of me. She thought of the days ahead and smiled. But one day, as the young godling sat on the edge of a cloud, pondering the world, a gust of wind blew on them, and they lost their balance. Oh no! Don't worry, it's not a sad story. All right, then. Carried by the wind, they floated down to the ground, and immediately they were astonished. There were so many things around them that they'd never seen before. They were both delighted and lost, and they stood rooted in place for many human eras, until a human found them there. Shall we call the godling Aeon? And the human Ray, just for clarity? That's going to help me for sure. I get lost without names. All right, Aeon and Ray it is. Ray walked up to Aeon and finding them stunned, guided them forward. They took them to their village and showed them how they lived their life. As days passed by, Aeon started talking to Ray. They discussed stars and planets, clouds and suns. They talked of harvests and of young children, of famines and old men. They talked of time and of eternity, and as they looked into each other's eyes, they found both the briefest of moments and the longest era in there. That's how they both knew they were in love. They decided to get married. Both of them wanted the ascent of their family. Um, Ray got... Ray got it without any trouble. Their family were quite fond of Aeon by then. But when Aeon went to see their mother, the goddess, that old hag, ha give her a chance, my love, she improves. But yeah, at first she wasn't thrilled. In fact, she was outraged that her favorite child should be taken away from her. That reminds me of someone. I promise you, she's a lot better than my mother. Anyway, she got really angry, and she told Aeon, Get married if you wish, but if you do get married, then you shall wither and die, just like your fiancé. Yuck. And to nobody's surprise at this point, Aeon said, I'm alright with that. What's eternity if I can't have Ray by my side? Down to get married they went. For many hours the goddess was angry and shouted, then for many more hours she was despondent and sulked. Then finally, she turned an eye onto the ground to look at Aeon and Ray. They were in the field where Ray had first found Aeon. They wore garlands of flowers and they were surrounded with people they loved. And for the first time, Aeon wasn't quiet at all. They were singing and dancing, their eyes sparkling, their hair floating on the wind. And the goddess saw that for the first time in an eternity, their child was happy. She regretted her bitter words then. 
But a goddess's word, once spoken, isn't easily broken. In sadness for her child's mortal days, she started crying. And one by one, her tears hit the earth in a thick cloud of rain. But instead of running from it, Aeon and Rey danced with it. And so the goddess said, For each tear of mine that falls onto you, may you live another year. And even as your hair turns gray and your skin turns parched, may that year see you both dancing and singing, still in love with each other. And according to elves, that's how we came to be. But I think that's a bit far-fetched. Um, it was just a pain in the butt paperwork to change it, and I didn't care about that name tradition. <laughs> it is a pain. It is a pain. I need to get on my... I need to step on um, my soapbox for a minute. Uh, getting, like, when you have to move to a new state or something, and you have to change your driver's license and license plate and all that. Um, they don't always say, like, on, on the website, you check all the paperwork that you need to bring in. They don't always say, like, if you had an... Um, if you had a name change that you need to bring in that proof, even though it's on your driver's license. I don't understand. If it's on my driver's license, why do I need to have it as proof of the name change? Like if, because they'll see my birth certificate has a different last name. And I once had to drive like 45 minutes back um, to my house to, to find um, the marriage license and then I had to drive 45 minutes there again just to show proof of why my name was different on my birth certificate than on my driver's license. Yeah, what the heck? That's a government issued. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So basically what I'm saying is don't ever move to Georgia. <laughs> Georgia has got such weird weird laws um, for that because I feel like a driver's license has a government ID that should be proof enough you shouldn't need to do all that but anyway off soapbox <laughs> thank you for the stream likes uh, vampire all right anyway that was a nice nice uh, story my love are you tearing up it's nothing you're just really beautiful sometimes. Oh, You're a born legend teller, Mr. Baileys. That was an astonishing rendition of that story. Yeah, that was epic. I'm not gonna look at rain the same way now. Ah, uh, it's just a silly legend. It's not silly at all. And you're right, the goddess is a lot better than your mother. Told you. My history with rain is a lot simpler. I just really love it when it rains outside and you're all warm indoors. Yeah, that's a very cozy feeling. My bedroom when I was a little girl was on the top floor. <coughs> what got me is people get married fairly frequently, so why isn't the last name change more automated? Yeah, it seem that that's another thing. And then if you want to change your name back, it, I think it's pretty expensive, from what I remember. Like if, um, like if you get divorced or something. Um, I can't, I can't remember, like, if my mom changed her name back, but... Uh, legally, but I know it's expensive. Um, I don't know if that depends on where you live or if that's just a national thing. Um, my bedroom when I was a little girl was on the top floor. So I could hear the rainfall at night when I was in my bed. It was great. I wish we lived in a world where everyone had that. Oh my god, I would love that so much. I love hearing the rain when I'm sleeping. Um, a relative never changed hers back because of that. Plus it's her son's last name. Oh yeah, if you have like... It's got to be m even more complicated when you have kids. It's like, which name do they take? I mean, probably a lot of people hyphenate it. Um, t 
to um to have both names or something. Uh I wish we lived in a world where everyone had that. A place to be safe while the rain falls outside. For sure. Ah, oh, look! Here's at least another someone who's safe from the rain right now. Oof, that's a very wet little guy. Poor Gala, did he just shake rain all over you? He did a little bit, that's fine. He's a cute one. What's he doing here, though? Is he your cat, Haley? Uh, no, but he's been around a couple of times. I'm so dying to know if this cat is anybody. I do remember seeing him a week or so ago. He's not any friendlier than he was then. Although he's not especially aggressive either. Maybe he's adopting this place. Wouldn't be the first. That's pretty much how you got Hyde, too. He's got two different colored eyes. I forgot what that's called. Now that's an apt uh, comparison. It seems that he might be looking for something, though. Or someone? If that's the case. Uh, heterochromia. Yeah, I think that's it. H he heterochromia. Heterochromia. Yeah, that's it. Um, if that's the case, he hasn't found them yet. He came by another time a few days ago, and it was actually quite helpful. But he didn't look settled then, either. And there he goes! Very mysterious. I wonder if Hyde's coming back. Ah, spoke too soon. Wait, hold on, what's... What's been posted? Oh my gosh, it's a video! Wait a second. Oh, you can't play it! No! <laughs> oh... Really? You can't play it at all? Ah, oh, that sucks. Is that a gl game glitch? Why put a play button there? Oh well. What did I miss? A cat, apparently. Ah yes, I saw it go. What was that about? We're not entirely sure. He has come by a handful of times, but he doesn't seem to stay very long or ask for anything. I was saying that he might be looking for someone. Ah, perhaps he is. In many traditions, cats are depicted as having special foresight. Messengers between worlds, so to speak. He may some know something we don't, or see something we can't see. That's just what they want you to believe. <laughs> Looking mysterious to get food and cuddles. I was saying that he, that um, reminds me of someone actually. <laughs> no comment. Uh huh. Anyhow, what was that call about? That was the interior designer about the house. For some reason, he needed to know the exact size of my turntable, as well as whether I wanted walnut or oak floors. I just want floors I can walk on. That's surprising. I thought you'd be more particular about decoration hides. I am particular, in the sense that I want it to look good. But he's got no clue what to do to get there. Hey, Wadey, good to see you. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good weekend. I mean, you've seen his car. <laughs> it's not, you know, peak design trends. That car served me right. Thank you very much. I remember when a certain werewolf didn't want to drive me around. I shouldn't have brought that up. Truce. Why don't you help hide with decorating then, Gala? Why indeed. I... my job. Time. Your job. Time. I see. Everyone's a critic, but the truth is... Gala has no understanding of color, material, or shape. I'm a lazy interior designer at best, but Gala's interior designer's waking nightmare. Not true, I just go for functional things. That's what people say when they've got no taste. Yeah, maybe my taste in vampires is the problem here. I think your taste in vampires is your one saving grace. Ugh. <clears throat> 
I am. Thank you. Hope you are too. I, I'm, I am having a good weekend. Thank you. You guys sound like you're going to be just fine. Indeed. You know, being like this all together when it's dark and damp and feeling good and safe and home, it's a pretty rare feeling in a kind of public place. I think the kind the kinda is key here. As far as I can remember, this was never this has never felt like a strange space to me. It's my space that I'm lucky enough to share with other people I like. I definitely feel the same way. Thanks for that, Haley. I'm glad that's how it feels for you. Feels to you. Our patron's comfort has always been our priority. Goal very much achieved then. That, and also you were all right. <laughs> it sounds like everyone's gonna be busy with our th with our own stuff for a while. But I can't wait to come back here and see your faces again. Whether in a week or a month or a year, I know it's gonna be a good time. Cheers to that. Hear, hear. <laughs> you are all welcome anytime, separately or together. And I'm holding... I'm looking forward to hearing what you get up to. We'll definitely pop by to give you news. And to get fury remedies. And to listen in on the drama. We can't wait to welcome you back. Aww. Wait, is this the end of the game? I hope not. I think the rain is over. And we've kept you up for a while already, Haley. Yeah. We should all use- I've never- has the game ever not rained? I don't remember the rain ever stopping and like being this quiet. It is sounding like it! I really thought I had a lot more time. Um, yeah, we should all use the dry spell to get back home. Consider the night called. You go first, guys, or we'll be stepping on each other's toes. Alright. Good night, Haley. Good night. Good night, you two. Let's go, darling. Let's. Good night, Haley. Thanks again for being with us. Tonight and on other nights. No, thank you for everything, truly. Have a good rest, Haley. Will do. <gasps> no, I'm not ready for it to be over. You guys coming? Yeah, just hold the door for a, a, for me a second longer. Eek, bae! What are you doing? I'm carrying you over the threshold, of course. <laughs> that's that's on the way into the home, not on the way out of the bar. <laughs> I can do both. You're silly. Maybe I... But I love you. I love you too. Bustling, busy, in a buzz. People whose thoughts I can hear almost as well as my own by now. Whose success and failures matter to me as much as my own. I suppose that's what it feels like. To have a chosen hive. <gasps> a chosen hive! So we are an alien! We are an alien. Wait, it's not over yet. Or is it? Is this the menu? <laughs> no, okay, it's not over yet. We got Tuesday, October 3rd. Okay, good. I was like, this is feeling like an ending, but I think maybe this could be the last day. I don't know. I need to look at the um the game saves. I think that'll give me a hint as to how many days we've got left. Um but I'm gonna take a quick uh BRB. Um I'll be right back. So enjoy some some clips from past streams and I'm going to run some ads. Oh, look, Penny's here. All right, I think that's the ads done. Um right, when I load into this day, I'm going to check to see how many days left we have. And seeing those Stardew clips made me think, hey, if uh finish the game, I might play a little bit of Stardew. <laughs> After. We'll see. We'll see if I'm feeling up to it. I should have time though. If, if, um, it does seem like the game is gonna be coming to a close here soon. 
Uh, thank you for the contribution to the DVD stream challenge. What is that even up to now? Percentage wise, 62%. It's getting there. It is getting there. All right, so we're in October 3rd, uh, Tuesday. Um, FIRE director resigns in the wake of shocking leaks. Heir of American business royalty disowned over choice of wife. Killer algae, the new invasive species. I'm a BRB. Got got teas to make. No worries, Borny. Thank you for um being around. And hope you, hope you got something yummy for tea. Okay, hold on. Let me just look. Oh, Very I think. Good girl. <laughs> Jerb. <laughs> no, Jerb, those emotes. <laughs> the emote combo. <gasps> you know what? I think we are on the last day. Because it's not... These were all, like, grayed out, but none of these are grayed out. So I think this is the last day, y'all. This is the last day. <laughs> Welcome in, Jerb. Also, yeah, the, the the special sound alert I've got for Chirp. <laughs> uh, but yes, welcome in, Chirp. Hope you're well. Um, before we do anything, we gotta check the social media. Um, oh, Silver's got a new picture. <clears throat> Uh, Aqua, I think by the end of it, I'm in this industry for the love of it. And to keep having fun is the mindset I will keep moving forward. Oh, that's great. Oh, it doesn't have any likes? What? I want to play the videos. Is that a... Is there a way to play the videos? I'm going to have to look this up. Why can't I play these? They should be... I guess they just want you to, you know, make you think. Hi, it's got a nice pick. Aww. Cute! I wish you could see the video, but oh well. I've been trying to fill in the slug holes in the kitchen! Oh no! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for your slug problem, Jerb. Hope those, um, hope those slugs calm down. Right. Somehow this feels like deja vu. Hey. Welcome, Officer Georgie. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. Yep, deja vu. What? Nothing. Everything is fine. I have everything I need to avoid another blackout. That's good news. Hey, you know, this weather has kind of grown on me. Really? Yeah. Not something I'd like to have forever, of course. But the thunder is- the thunder no longer sounds so angry to me. Interesting. What does it sound like to you? Hmm. No idea. Just not scary anymore. Anyway, I want to order something. Perfect. What would you like? Make me whatever I ordered a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago? Yeah, like on Monday, two weeks ago. <laughs> a cab make him a disgusting drink. Right, of course. You were promoting new types of tea, I think. Does it show drinks in the loads, by the way? No, I don't think it does. <laughs> We're just gonna have to wing it! You're promoting new types of tea, I think. The one you gave me was pretty tart. I see. Hmm. So yeah, make whatever you gave me that day. Would that- it's gotta be- you think it's hibiscus? What's more tart? Hibiscus is more tart, right? He deserves a glass of dishwater just for that vague order, to be honest. I honestly, these people expect too much of me for being regulars. Um, 
Let's see, it was hibiscus ginger ginger. It wasn't just straight up hibiscus tea, was it? He said it was tart. But I feel like that would be tart anyway. Steeped with roasted ginger with a touch of honey, perfect for rainy evenings. Has a cranberry-like tartness with floral undertones. Great source of vitamin C. A smooth but spicy drought, warm and refreshing at the same time. A tradition, ni traditional Nigerian drink with an invigorating ginger kick supported by cloves and pineapple. That actually sounds good. I might just making that one. Because I don't know what he ordered. <laughs> I have nothing to go off except that it was tart. But that sounds good, so we'll do hibiscus and and ginger. And he's gonna like it. <laughs> he's gonna have to take it. <laughs> Here you go, officer. Uh-oh. Don't like those eyes. Hmm. I don't think this is what I ordered. Oh? You're right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I'll drink it anyway. As long as it doesn't have milk in it. You alright? Yeah. I feel like I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. Sometimes I'm not even sure why. It's a clear sign you need to take a break. <laughs> Perhaps. How are you, officer? How's work? Work, huh? Well, it's only been a couple of days since I was here. But I admit, a lot has happened. Oh? Yeah, for starters, word is spread that parking on Bourne Street is no longer safe. Because of the vandalism? Yeah. And I really don't wanna... I don't really... I really don't want it to escalate, you know? I don't want the story of the street rewritten into something bad. Makes sense. So what did you do? <laughs> what makes you think I did anything? Just a guess? Well, you're not wrong. The day after our last talk, I paid the old gnomes a visit and had a chat with them. Oh? What did you talk about? We talked about what could happen to them and the area due to the vandalism they committed. They were remorseful to a point because they're upset about what happened to the remains of their friend. Right. All they wanted was to create something memorable that would stay in everyone's mind. In one way or another. Even in a bad way. That's what I thought they were going for, too. Turns out, that's not the case. They just wanted to create something memorable. Something that gets everyone talking. But when I gave them a hypothetical scenario with rumors getting out of control, and how folks will spin the whole thing into something else. They were a bit stunned, honestly. Is it because they didn't think of the consequences that far ahead? That's right. I told them it could potentially lead to the street being closed because it would be deemed unsafe. Or maybe even rebuilt into something completely different. Which would effectively erase all trace left of their friend. So they decided to stop right there, right then. Interesting. But, you know, I get their need to keep the memory alive. Even if what they did was a bit misguided. I understood. Still, what they did was not the way to go about it. And honestly, I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a very big auto. <laughs> Thank you so much for the, the bits. Oh, you know, it's actually showing it in my activity feeds. I wonder if they changed that. Because uh, a few people, I think Jerb and Tommy have said that it didn't doesn't show up in their activity feed. Um, but thank you. Thank you for the bits, uh, Dan, and welcome on in. I need to play Wildflowers again. Um, I think I actually uninstalled it a while ago to make room for stuff, but I... I should reinstall and revisit it sometime. Maybe when I maybe when I get back um, after next week. 
might be might be something to check out again. And honestly, I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this, all this memory stuff. Shows that I and the world probably need to learn a lot more about fairy folk in general. I agree. So what did you do next? Did you arrest them? Heh. <laughs> no. All I did that day was chat with them. Because I wanted a clearer picture on everything. Including the old fairy market and all. I also shared the story about my grandpop. In the end, they said whatever I decide to do, they'll accept. So I went home. I see. You know, my daughter asked what happened. Now, since she gave me good advice on the case and everything, I told her the whole story. About the street, about the tree. Wow, that's really everything. <laughs> Anyhow, after our talk, I guess she started looking into the fairy folk's history. And in one of those videos she did, uh, I have no clue what to call him. Dan Hoop just cheered 90 bits. You woo. <laughs> thank you, Dan. Uh, thank you for the. Thank you for all the bits. Thank you for the 90 and the and the, and the 10. Thank you. Um. There are videos of herself packing orders while talking about stuff. Ah, I see. I reposted on my Tomoda Chill a couple of days ago. Ah, I see. She basically talked to her viewers about what she learned in the video. About your case? No, no. Only things she has learned on her own. Got it. That's great, though. You never know. Maybe through her video, curiosity, uh, curiosity will spread. Get everyone wondering about this piece of disappearing history. You're right. Who knows what the future holds? Ah, Lucas. Lucas is in the house, yo. Hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> and you, Pops, how goes it? All good. You're in high spirits, aren't you? Always. Anyway, Pops, what's shaking? I think I should be the one asking you that. Lucas is in the coffee shop, in fact. <laughs> What's with all the excess energy? You're right, and I probably should explain. But first... Dear Haley, may I put in an order? You may? <laughs> I'd like a blue pea latte with super cool latte art on top. Oh, shit. All right, let me just make sure I'm making this right because I've been screwing up everything. Oh, have I never made a blue pea latte? Well, I'm guessing it's going to be probably blue pea and maybe a lot of milk. Let's find out. Well, that that is a latte. Um, what should we do? What should we do? Not the captions having him ask for a blue pea latte. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, the captions really mess me up. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let me make it bigger, maybe. Okay, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere with this. Hold on. Let me just try again. <gasps> okay, that's- it's- it's not bad. It's not bad. Maybe if I go up. Ooh, I should have gone the other way, I think. Alright, hold on. I might be getting the hang of this. I just want to make a pretty little... 
wonder if I'm I wonder if I'm going too low though. Yeah, I think I need to go this way. I don't like that. Well. One more time. One more time. Oh, that's not good. Uh, do, do I like hummus? I love hummus. Is that what you're having, uh, Dan? For Dins? Okay, I think that that's good enough. <laughs> Maybe we'll put some little... How about some little stars? There we go. I think that's that's pretty good. <laughs> a cup of blue latte with a masterpiece on it for you, sir. A masterpiece, eh? I like your confidence. Oh no, he's gonna post it on Tomoda Chill. Anyway, cheers. Oh, he didn't like it. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Haley. Maybe he won't post it. So what's up, kid? All's well, pops. I'm waiting for the lady to arrive. Oh, so Miss Riona's coming? Yes, with crudites? What are crudites? I have to look that up. Hold on. Hold on, got- Oh! Just raw vegetables. Like a raw vegetable platter. Ooh, love that. I love carrots. Carrots and hummus. Mmm, very good. Carrots, celery... Can't really go wrong, honestly. And some, like, flatbread. Um, yeah, love that. I haven't had hummus in a while. Is- um, are you having, like, a particular hummus? Like, just classic? Or do you have any, like, special seasonings in it? Um, I like to... I like to get the spicy hummus myself. Like, with red peppers. Garlic and red pepper. Perfect. You're making me hungry! <laughs> making me want some hummus. I should get some soon. Uh... I'd probably make it myself if I actually had a blender. Or like a... I maybe could make it in a food processor, but I've never tried myself. It's probably pretty easy. Um, the last couple of days have been really intense for us. In fact, I didn't sleep at all until last night. Oh, why? Let's just say we've been bus busy cooking up stuff. Tsk tsk. What? What is it? I know you're a hustler, kid. Your schedule's probably not like everyone else's, but I hope you won't drag others into unhealthy habits unnecessarily. Although I know next to nothing about Banshee biology. Doesn't she do late night deliveries? Oh? Sometimes she does deliveries until morning. Then never mind, kid. Forget everything I said earlier. Phew! I was like, oh man, what stupid thing did I do this time? Nah, I was just pulling your leg. You're both adults. I was just playing around as the nosy and annoying old guy. Still, it's good that you guys are talking. Especially considering what happened the first time you two met. <clears throat> yeah, no kidding. That's what I mean by doing stupid things, too. Sometimes I don't slow down enough to see the forest for the trees, you know? It happens. As long as you're aware of it and take... Take a step back from time to time. Yep. Um, I got some chocolate hummus recently that I used on some lightly glazed croissants and it was sinfully delicious. That sounds really good. I've never tried chocolate hummus. Um, if I see some in the shops, I'm gonna have to, I might have to give it a go. And I love a good croissant. Welcome, oh, I didn't even read that. Welcome, Miss Riona. <laughs> Hello. Glad she's in better spirits this time. Lady, finally you're here. Good evening, miss. Hi, everyone. Was the traffic bad for you? No, not at all. I had to deliver something before I came. That's why I'm a bit late. I apologize. 
Nah, you're not li late. I'm just early. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, please. I'd like a cup of mild coffee, sweetened with a lot of honey, if you would. Mild coffee sweetened with a lot of honey. So... Oh, I almost hit chocolate. Didn't mean to do that. With a lot of honey. Honey coffee, I mean... That's... You can't go wrong, right? That's what I used to order back in the day. Really? So what's really been happening with you two? This kid stayed up for days for something, apparently. Does that include you as well? That's the second time chocolate hummus has come up recently? Oh, wow. Everybody must be in the mood for it, huh? <laughs> Does that include you as well? Yes, but those are just my regular working hours. See? See? And? I thought we were done talking about that, Pops. What the heck? I'm not done playing the role of annoying and nosy old guy, that's all. Jeez. Anyway, the truth is... Me and the lady have been discussing the show's format. Oh? How goes it so far? We're almost there. Right? I think, yes. We've been discussing it quite intensely the past couple of days. We're at a point where things are beginning to take shape. But it's just not quite there yet. But almost. That's why I've been staying up late, organizing all these ideas into a deck. We're making a new show proposal to pitch to my team. Are you two going to work together then? In a way, yes. It is my intention to act as Lucas's guide to the city. I'm going to have him drive too sometimes. Yeah. I don't want her to always drive me around, but I might need some time to get used to driving again. Is that okay? Of course. My suggestion would be for us to drive across the Evergreen Point Bridge. On days when there is less traffic, when the sun is out, it will make you feel good, I am sure of it. Okay, let's do it. Anyway, so that's what's been happening. Meanwhile, I've been helping her find auditions. I wasn't aware there were many ways to find audition leads online. You still have to vet them though, because there are so many fakes out there. But I'll help you with that, don't worry. Okay. Well, sounds good, y'all. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. It says I just got an achievement, a budding partnership. I might have to leave soon. Huh? Why? I haven't eaten anything substantial since this morning. It was a really busy day. Oh, word? Let's go then. Ah, uh, you can stay. I, I just go... I'll just go for a quick bite and come back. Nah, let's go. We're partners, right? Besides, we still have a lot of things to discuss. Ah, uh, you're right. Okay, if you're fine with it. I think it's time for us to go. I mean, for me. Roger that. Let's get going then. See you later, Pops. Good luck with everything. You too. You too. <laughs> Bye, Haley. See you again soon. Goodbye. Well, it's just me and you, Pops. <laughs> so... Just you and me now. Nothing wrong with that. I have to go soon, though. Duty calls. Sure. <gasps> Music stopped. Oh my god! It's Freya! Hello, Haley. How are you? Freya. Hey, Miss Greenhair. Hey, officer. Long time no see. I heard you've been going around the world, huh? Around the world is a bit much. But I've been somewhere. I'm glad to see you here, Freya. <laughs> 
Well, as much much as I'd like to stay and chat, duty calls. Aw, that sucks. I missed you. Well, see you later then, Georgie. Well, if she's back, it's definitely the end of the game, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to tell Haley the truth, okay? Later, Haley. I will. What? What's going on? All right, spill the tea. <laughs> Let me move over there. So. Oh, is I don't you can't see my mouse, but I think that's the wedding picture with our wedding invitation next to it on that bottom uh, left shelf. Very cute. So, my buddy, my pal, my good friend. Haley, what's up? Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Before you start blaming me, it was a last minute thing. Even I didn't know I'd be back so soon. So what makes you what makes you return sooner than expected? Well, maybe I'll tell you after a drink. Oh god, are we gonna remember her favorite drink? <laughs> hey, do you remember my very first order ever? Oh god. Espresso? Oh my god, it was it was espresso, that's right. She always orders espresso, I think, or m most of the time cuz she's staying up. You have a very good memory. The first time I was here, it was raining as hard as it is now. I thought nothing was open anymore until I saw your shop. She really did go there. <laughs> Your espresso is one of the best coffees I've ever had. Thank you. One espresso for me, please. Thank God it's something easy. One espresso coming... Whoop. Sorry, I was putting chapstick on. Coming right up. <clears throat> Here you go, Freya. A cup of a triple shot espresso for you. Great. Again, this deep aroma and such stellar flavors. That's that Haley espresso. I'm not going to sing it, but yeah, I was thinking that reading it. <laughs> um, again, this deep aroma and such stellar flavors. Thanks. So, mind telling me why Officer Georgie said what he said? Which part? Something about telling me the truth? Ah, uh, well, about that. Okay. I'm leaving for a writer's residence soon. And it's really, really far away. What? I know, I know. It was impulsive. It was something I did on a whim. I know. Me and my old buddy sent the application form like last month, not really expecting anything. But we got accepted, and somehow it's for this year's rotation. Which means I need to pack and get ready really soon. It's not a scam, is it? Of course not. How long is it going to be? I don't know, probably a few months. But I might try to keep traveling after that. Okay. Haley? Are you sad? Nope. Don't be sad while I'm gone, okay? I said I'm not sad. Aww. Anyway, tell me what's been happening all this time I've been gone. There should be a lot of juicy stories waiting for me, right? Oh, you have no idea. Spill it. Everything. Alright. So it started around two weeks ago. <gasps> Aqua's still working on her game while Myrtle focuses on her job. It's clear they still have some snags in communicating with each other, but they've made up. 
Silver and Amanda's trip took them quite a bit further than they expected. And Pearl appears in a number of their selfies from London, Sydney and... Oh, I missed the last one. <laughs> Hyde's reputation as a dreamy, sensitive wedding photographer spread around all of Seattle. And Gala is fond of his qualif qualifying him of those... T uh, I can't read it fast enough. <laughs> Lou and Bailey's bought a little house with large windows, a small garden, and an extra bedroom. Bailey's has been using it as a workspace, but it stands ready to fulfill a whole other function. Something time right now. <laughs> the Nekachel Arami collaboration was a success as a new single was released on time. Even though the reviews are mixed, her true fans love it. Riona and Lucas often come to the coffee shop after his driving lessons to discuss a variety of topics. Looks like they're taking it slow and planning things carefully as they match up their working schedules. Fortunately, the vandalism ended before the rumors could worsen. Sometimes a lone officer can be seen placing flowers where the dead tree once stood. Aww, it's over! No! That's so sad. Sad. It's done. It was a good ending, though. Yeah. It was a really good, really good, um, sequel. I enjoyed it. I actually might have... I, I need to... I should play the first one again sometime, but I feel like, um... I feel like the second game, the sequ it seemed to hold up really well. Like, on its own. Maybe even better. GG well played. Now do an all wrong drinks playthrough. <laughs> uh, that was the best ending, I'm sure. Yeah. I, I really want to play the first one again to see... Because apparently you can kind of figure out what our race or species is. Um, and I'd also like to do like the endless, endless day so I could make all of the different drinks. That would be great. I'd like to do that. Um, but uh, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what should I do next. Should I play a little something extra? It's already- we're almost three hours in. I don't- I definitely don't want to start anything new. Hey Aldo, welcome in. What's my next game gonna be? Yeah, I have been thinking about that. I've been wondering what I should play, like when I get back. Um, let me take a look actually. Because there are some games on Game Pass that I'd like to play while I, while I still have Game Pass. Uh, a Little to the Left is one I've been eyeing. I think that could be a good stream game. Oh, wait, are we getting a cutscene? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Miss Riona, hello again. Hello. I dropped something here a long time ago, so I'm here to get it. Oh? What item was it? It's fine, I've got it. It was right under this seat. Really? Huh. I always made sure to check everything before closing, too. There are times when we simply miss things. Oh, it was the, it was the key, I think. We did have something. Particularly if it is a task that we've performed numerous times. Aldo underscore he him just cheered 1000 bits. Hey, what's in your ear? Oh my god, Aldo! That is too kind. A thousand bits? Thank you so much, Aldo. That's very, very sweet of you. I hope you're having an amazing uh, weekend. Well, that was too kind. Thank you so much. Um, particularly if it is a task that we have performed numerous times. That's true. 
I guess it's a sign for me to double check everything. It may, or it may not be. I have a feeling you will find something of interest either way. There is even the possibility of gaining a complete understanding of everything. Or everyone. Pardon? I didn't quite catch that. Have a good evening, Haley. Uh, okay, have a safe trip, Miss Riona. Ooh, what did that mean? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Wait, can we see the last dialogue on that? Oh, it won't let me. Oh well, looks like no one else will be coming tonight. Might as well go check on... Oh, the cat! I forgot about the cat! What was that? That sounded like it came from inside the drawer. What the... The missing items! They're here! But they vanished a while ago. Now what is really going on? You have now seen part of the image, but there are still many details to discover. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> or is that supposed to mean that we're supposed to like play through it again and and see what we're uh, what we're missing? Achievements. Give Lucas incorrect. Oh, here here you go, Jerb. There's an achievement for getting Lucas's drink wrong. Um, three times. <laughs> Provide Riona with poor service until she no longer visits the shop! <gasps> oh my god! I think we were getting close to that, honestly. Listen to all of the songs. How did we not listen to all of them? Trash a total of 25 drinks. Um, forget to give Georgie his lighter back. Spent a uh, spent spent a total of one hour making latte art. <laughs> oh my god! Serve ten correct drinks in a single session of challenge mode. Serve twenty five correct drinks in a oh wow okay challenge. Serve Rachel milk honey green tea when she needs inspiration. Serve Rachel Dream in Blue when she needs inspiration. I thought I did give... Oh, I didn't give it to Rachel. I just gave it to Riona. Oh, uh, give Gala the fidget spinner. Give Riona the fidget spinner. Oh. Whoa, there's a lot of achievements to get. Unlock all achievements. Oh, I want to... Uh, I might have to I might have to do it, but I kind of would rather just get it on Steam, I think, and get the achievements there because this is I'm playing this on Game Pass. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> 